All right, so what we have here is a tree full of cicadas, and these are periodical cicadas, and that means that they emerge either every 13 or 17 years. And what we have here is Brood 23. It's the one that emerges every 13 years in southern Illinois. These are sort of the uh, underdeveloped form of the cicadas, and they're about to climb up this tree. And then what they do is they split down their back and then the adult form emerges. And when it emerges, it's this completely white color. And then eventually it'll get darker as it dries until it's completely black like that one. While they're in this nymph form, they'll be under the ground for either 13 years or 17 years. And then once they emerge, they only live as adults for about four to six weeks. So this is what the three different forms of this cicada look like. Here we have the nymph, which is the one that lives underground. It just came out. And once it comes out of this exoskeleton, they look like this white one and they start inflating their wings and after a couple of hours their wings are fully inflated and they'll turn this black color one thing i always thought was cool was that the larval nymph stage has these really fattened front legs they look almost like claws this is the adult one it's got normal legs but when the nymph has these fat almost like crab claws it can dig through the ground way better these cicadas can have a pretty interesting phenotypic variation, even though it's really subtle. You can see from these two that this one has the typical blood red eyes, but this one has a more orangish color to its eyes. And I've even seen ones that have very pale, almost blue colored eyes, but unfortunately there's none around this tree. So, there's a pretty easy way to tell the males apart from the females. If you grab a female, it's going to be pretty silent. But when you grab a male, it's going to start singing. Hopefully it will. Yeah, see? So, they'll start getting really noisy once you start handling it. And you can also flip them over. And the males, they have these two sound-producing structures at the base of the legs and the rest of their abdomen is pretty much a uniform shape but the female has this structure at the base of the abdomen it's called an ovipositor and that's what they use to lay eggs inside of the tree branches so now i'm looking at all these dead cicadas around the base of the tree i remember a video i watched a couple years ago and it emphasized how it's all a cycle of life and how when all these cicadas emerge and eventually die they turn into a natural fertilizer for the plants i don't really think that's too accurate because when they're in their nymph form they're feeding on the plant juices basically on the tree sap from the roots and a lot of them will emerge They'll spend their lives in the trees and fall back down. So there's really no net gain of nutrients. They're just returning all the nutrients they took from the tree in the first place. So there's a squirrel that just ran up with a mouthful of these cicadas. <laughs> They're all kind of dropping down from the tree as he's going up.